Welcome to the video intro for Simple Seps 3, an all new version of the Simple Seps plugin from AdvancedT-Shirts.com. In Simple Seps 3, we have completely rewritten the half tone color separation system for Simple Seps. It is now a full blown rip, giving you complete control of your half tone dots in Corel Draw. The benefit of this is that you can actually rip directly in Corel Draw and then output to any printer that you have connected to your computer. You're also able to preview your halftone color separations before you even put them out to film, giving you complete control of what's going on with your halftones and your halftone screen printing. Truly revolutionary because of the fact that we're not going blindly out to a rip into our film. We're able to preview everything directly in draw. We can also take these images or halftones that we rip in draw and then copy and paste them on top of each other, change the colors, and get an actual color preview of what our halftone print is going to look like. Simple Steps takes us far beyond just a rip and into very robust color management in Corel Draw that works with anything that'll hold a spot color, that being vector, monochrome, and duotone bitmaps. Now we know that we have Simple Steps and we have Simple Steps Raster, which outputs monochrome color separation. So now we can separate anything directly in Corel Draw for working with Simple Steps Raster and Simple Steps 3 and put that out to halftones with some very valuable halftone functionality that allows us to get the best possible prints for our screen printing. Do a quick intro here. We'll take a look very quickly at the power of Simple Steps 3 relating to color management and halftone color separation output. I have a simple tail graphic on here, something very common in the screen printing industry. You've got a design that would be black, red, and yellow, and we've got some red blending into the yellow. If I can do a quick analysis of my graphic with Simple Steps, and this is a powerful feature because I have no idea what colors are in this graphic, but yet I'm dealing with over 800 objects. If I need to go through here and start finding colors manually and replacing them to get this reduced down to the three spot colors I need, it would take me quite a bit of time to do that. But since I have Simple Steps 3, I'm not going to need to do that. I'll go ahead and maximize my Simple Steps here and I'll click on Create Selection Palette. And that's going to show me that I have 10 colors and 11 tints. Now I need this down to a three color job. I can do that with about four clicks here in Simple Steps 3. I'm going to take a black, a yellow, and a red. And you can see I just selected those colors. And then I'm going to come down here and click on One Click Conversion. Simple Steps 3 is going to go through all 800 of those objects and bring them down to just these three spot colors. So that'll be ready to separate, create my white base, and get my job out on press. Go ahead and click on One Click Conversion. We'll let that process. And then we'll see that we now have a Pantone 178. There's a Pantone 178C density at 85. There's a yellow here, and there is a hexachrome black. This I'm going to want to change to 100%. Now, when Simple Steps is doing color replacement, it's looking at the color, comparing it against the spot color that's using, it, saying, well, maybe 100% isn't the best replacement. I'm going to replace this with 85. Now, you'll notice that that was set down here in the options. Now, to go ahead and bring this up to 100% density, which is what I want to do. I'm going to select this object. I'm going to come down here to Properties. I'm going to check, select that to Fills and Outlines, and I'm going to click Select Object. Now I can see I had six objects that have that density. All I need to do at this point in time is double click here, and I can bring this density right up to 100%, select OK, and all those objects will now be at the 100% density of that color. We'll go click Create Selection Palette, and now I have three spot colors. Now I've gone through 800 objects and literally here in a matter of seconds I'm down to three spot colors that I can separate. Then I would go to my separations tab and I could go and now with Simple Steps 3 change my LPI, my angle, or use the interlock functionality. Let's go ahead and take a look at interlocking. Typically when you're screen printing most shops or a lot of shops will just set everything to a 22.5 angle and then output. And this gives us decent color separations, but it leaves us lacking for the true vibrance we need for screen printing to get the graphics popping off of our garments. If I zoom in here and take a look, you can see we're printing dot next to dot or dot on top of dot. And we're getting some of the white in here. We're not really getting a full coverage of ink for this blend. One of the ways that we can deal with that is by changing our angles for our dots. Here we have a design is set up with red at an angle of 22.5 and yellow at an angle of 67.5 and this is significantly vibrant 
then working with everything going out at 22.5 for your half tones. And you can see it creates the illusion of the orange by the blending of the yellow and the red. Now here at the bottom we have what is red interlocked to yellow at 22.5 and you'll notice that these dots are actually interlocked in on top of each other and there's no dot next to dot going on giving the opportunity for the color behind the ink to come through and affect the vibrance of the graphic. Working with interlocking is something you can do sometimes depending on the separation. This is a perfect example because we're blending red with yellow but it really depends on how your dots are blending. But we can see that we would get a much more vibrant print working with the interlocking when we have the opportunity to do so as opposed to working with our dots set up side by side. Let's take a look at how Simple Steps does this. We have some separations we built down here. And here is the interlocked setup in Simple Steps. And what we've got here is a, I'm going to take this red here and I'm just going to hit Control X for now. And what we've got here is Simple Steps takes the red halftone plate, copies it in the top of the yellow, which Simple Steps has turned the yellow to solid black. So effectively what we're doing is we're just creating an inverse of the dots. And this would be our yellow. Now you notice when I paste it back in or I hit Control Z that I bring that red in, that there's no space between these dots. These interlock dots will come in as a very vibrant print coming directly out of Simple Steps 3. So what we have now in Simple Steps 3 really is a complete ripping solution. There is no longer a need for the high-end expensive rips. You can do everything directly in Corel Draw. And not just your halftone ripping. You can do automated white bases and you can also do the color management that I demonstrated at the beginning of the session when we were dealing with that graphic that had 800 objects, 10 colors and 11 tints. We took that down to three spot colors in a matter of seconds. And then we could just go right through Simple Steps and output to our halftones or we could separate without going to halftones and send that out to another rip that we'd be working with. So you can see the Simple Steps 3 really is a complete color management and color ripping solution for the Corel Draw graphics suite. It's also extremely affordable and we're going to go into an entire training series relating to halftones, color separations and color management working with Corel Draw and Simple Steps 3. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.